hello lomzy team it's your girl lomzy i'm back again with another video on how to make flared handkerchief skirt yes this is a skirt if you look very well you will see that this the upper part is a shirt it's not a handkerchief dress the lower part is a skirt so i will show you how to make exactly this handkerchief skirt if you're the type that like to work with detailed measurements and clean finishing then this channel is your channel subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorial so let's begin with today's sewing tutorial i'll be dropping the link on how to make this upper part that the shirt i'll be dropping the link in the description section this tutorial is going to be beginner friendly so i'm going to be taking it in details and if you don't understand anything drop it in the comment section i'll be there to answer any question so for us to start first we have to work on the waistband what i have here is three and a half inches and i have cut two pieces this is three and a half inches and I have cut two pieces of this so I am going to be making this band um I wanted to only interface one side but mistakenly they had to interface the two sides for me but it's okay I'll be working with it like that uh, it will make it more um, stiffer so it's okay so what I will have to do is first of all I measured the waist I'm working with is 36 inch inches but I measured more than that so that I have XX to work with so first thing I will have to do is I'm going to put this right side facing together I sew out half inch all the way and I top stitch it and turn it then I will now um, work on the, the skirt part so let me do that and show you what I mean guys you can follow me on my social media handles both on instagram and facebook at um, lomzy souls so i have sewn this out the next thing i want to do is to top stitch it i will top stitch it now yeah like i was saying if you want to see some of my designs my ready to wear you can check my um social media handles at lomzy one both on instagram and facebook if you want you can add your label i have a video on how to attach a label but for this I won't be attaching any label but this is the time to attach your label to this so you check the side that will be the back so let me get the skirt and walk you through how to add the skirt to this like i said you have to pay attention to what you're making if you look at this very well you will see that this is a shirt is a shirt dress is a shirt and this is a placket shirt placket and if you look very well you will find out that this dress has been tucked in so this is basically a, a skirt a falling handkerchief skirt so you have to take all these details if you're the type that lies to deal with details exactly what you're looking at these are the things you have to look into before you start um making what you're making so what i am going to be doing is i will be making this skirt just the skirt falling handkerchief skirt this is if you want to know about the detail on the top this is a bishop sleeve and it has um shirt placket and i'm sure because i can't see the hair the next side i'm sure this must be um a mandarin color or a shirt color so i'm not talking about that so you note all those details so but what i'm going to be showing you is how to make the falling handkerchief skirt I'm going to work with this paper i'm not going to be using the fabric i'll make you get understand what i'm teaching then we can go over to the fabric but you can actually cut directly your fabric for this is four yards that's what you need for this handkerchief skirt you're cutting on flare you know how you cut on flare we're going to be cutting it in four so what i have here is two yards and I have folded it in two. Let me show you. 
this is one yard from here to here is one yard and from here to here is another one yard which is two yards and i have folded it in on the two yard side i have folded it in two i have folded it in two this is on two yards so this plot from this to this what i have here is 36 inches I hope you understand what I mean. So now you have a square. After folding it like so, you will have a square like this. This is 36 by 36. Good. So we are going to be cutting this flare. We are cut, going to be cutting this on, on flare. So remember why I did it like this is because i want to have a side seam if you don't want to have a side seam it then means you're going to this is going to be instead of 36 it's going to be 72 by 72. i hope you understand what i mean let me repeat myself again why i made this to be 36 inches is because i want a side seam that is why i made it by 36 which is 36 by 72 this is 72 and this is 36 but if i want this to i don't want any side seam i will now make this to be 72 by 72 which will give me complete square and then i will fold it in four so the waist measurement we'll be using is 36. 36 divided by 6.28, which will give us 5.7. And I'm going to do make approximately that and make it 6 inches. So I'm going to be cutting that. I'm going to be drafting that here. 6 inches. 6 inches. So this is what we have here, like so. so. I will leave everything the way it is. I'm not going to be cutting anything out. It's going to be like this. So I'll cut this here like so. So when I do this, this is going to be like so. is going to be like so and this would be here so this is the side seam and this is the side seam then this is the center front so that's what you're going to be having you are going to cut two of this for the back you know this is the side and this is the side if you want you can put your zipper by the side or you can make your zipper to be on the back but i want my zip to be by the side so i'm going to be using the side seam for my zip and side seam so i'm going to be attaching a zip on the side so exactly this thing i explained is what i have cut out on my fabric this is the waist i told you i cut one so i have to cut the two of them like this so like i told you this is the side this is going to be the side and this is going to be the side like so so you will if you want to add a pocket a side pocket you can add a side pocket to this if you want to add a side pocket you just come down by one inch and mark it there like that and you notch it so that that's where your pocket will start I've made a video on how to insert a side pocket so I'm going to be dropping that in the description section below so that you know how to attach a side pocket then after attaching it your zip would be on one side you just choose the side you want the zip to be remember the pocket 
side pocket is on the both side so you choose the, where you want this um, zip to be for me i like my zip on the left side so i will be working with the left side you add your zip to it i've also made a video on how to attach a zip to your dresses so i'm going to be attaching a zip to that also so if you want the if you want to have two pockets the side two side pockets and also have um a back seam for your zip you can actually open up the back you just fold it into two and open slash open the back and you insert your zip but that is it so i'm going to be showing you how to attach this to your band so i have added the side pocket we'll also drop in the description section how to attach an invisible zip so that you learn how to attach this i'm not going to do that video because if i do it it will be too long so that's why i will drop that so when i have done this I will go and attach this to the waist band. This is the side, so I'm going to be starting on this side and attach it like that. So let's go to the machine to mark where the front will be and where the center back would be. So for me, I have folded in half. This place I have folded is the side. So the midpoint will be somewhere here but first of all the waist we are working with is 36 inches and 36 divided by 2 36 divided by 2 is what 18 inches good okay so i'm going to be notching 18 inches here so this is where the waistband will stop and this this is for the side and this is for the side so the midpoint here would be here so I will notch that also and on the skirt part I will also get the midpoint for the back and the front so let me mark that for this also I have to get the center back and the center front and notch it so I will notch this up so why I'm notching this is to make sure some part of the dress is not or the skirt is not bigger than the others is not fuller than the others so um this is the side so i am going to be matching up the side to side so right side facing together wrong side facing together i will do this and so half inch all the way and make sure when i'm working on it i notch up the the match up the notches that I made I didn't cut this out until after I had done this so another thing I have to check is to make sure that this is equal here I close my zip to make sure they are equal as you can see they are equal if they are not equal you just adjust it and so lower so you do that so what we'll do is you know this would extend for the skirt hook so what you would do remember if you have been watching my videos you will know what i have said whenever you saw this kind of thing the lining this 
um, sewing allowance should always be on the lining side so with it being on the lining side you fold it like that so that you have clean finishing when you fold it like that you hold this like so so in you have to leave at least one inch allowance for the skirt hook then you continue with your half inch sewing allowance let me do that to show you So you sandwich the skirts, the skirt would be sandwiched in between the two waistband, like that. You keep putting it in as you go along. You're doing it like this so that you have a very clean finished waistband when you're done. Make sure you don't sew the skirt so you push it in very well so you don't sew on it. So when you get to a, a situation whereby it's hard for you to continue passing, then you start from the other edge. For now this is too full, so I will start on the other edge. Before I go on the other edge, let me just show you. I will cut this off and I can bring this out. It's easy to come out. You just bring it up like that. And then you insert your hand inside or you use something to just bring out. You just bring out this, this, this so you go ahead and do the same thing to the other side if you bring it out you see how it is I'll bring it out very well so I will do the same thing on the other side this side we are not going to leave any allowance we are just going to sew it directly where the zipper stopped we will no, we'll not have any sewing allow any allowance for the skirt hook. let me put it that way so I'll hold this here like so and run like that. So I have brought out this side as you can see I didn't leave any allowance here and I left allowance for this so this would be like this on this like that 
so you know that we didn't finish this we still have this unfinished so just what you have to do is you place this here like this align your the band and then fold in your half inch sewing allowance and continue with the top stitch there like so and that's it guys as you can see we stitch clean finishing If you like the way I teach, you can join my online class, reach me on my WhatsApp, I'll be dropping the link in the description section below on how to join my online class, where I teach both beginners, intermediate and advanced level on pattern drafting. So the skirt is ready. I will show you how it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See how gorgeous this is, guys. I'm loving it. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember to do that, guys. I make sure I teach you the right sewing.